Hey gang, Anthony Fontana here. Here we are, New Year's Day, January 1st, and we are alive after five. I, I really don't know what time it is. The uh, darkness gets to me even now. It's like I can't wait for spring and summer where it's daylight uh, at seven, eight, nine o'clock at night. So today's been a great, today was a great day. I said this yesterday. What are your goals for 2021? What are you doing about your goals for 2021? So if you're paying attention to anything that I've ever done over the last, since September of 2018, when I started doing lives every single day, and for the four years prior to that, daily videos that I posted on Facebook uh, with content. Uh, so I've been doing this now. Uh, this July or August, I guess, I don't know, will be my 10th year of doing videos pretty much every single day, uh, of which uh, from 18 on we're live, you know, because live didn't exist too much prior to that. So hustle is the key word. What did you do today for 2024? You know, the year is going to go just like last year went like that. This year is going to go like that. And if you're stepping up to this plate for your own life, you will actually accomplish something this year. Now, this shirt says hustle. I got a couple of these. I got a couple of other types like this. Uh, all th These letters are actually, there's individual words within each letter. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to do the video on the other side of the phone and shut it off on time. So it's a, it's backwards, but it says hustle. Uh, find them online, order one, or have one made for yourself uh, on you know Printful or uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, sites that makes T-shirts for people, Teespring, whatever. Uh, I think hustle is the key word for everyone this year. I think this is the year that you have to put your nose to the grindstone and step out of the box and start doing a little bit more. You'll accomplish so much if you just do just a little bit every single day. 1% more today or 1% more than you did today tomorrow, you can't, it's not possible to even do that much in a year. By in one, in 12 months, you will blown through everything that you promised yourself today. Or yesterday, set your goal, set aggressive goals, set a goal that's like literally you got to stretch your brain to even think about achieving it and then put pen to paper and then visualize it and read that sucker every single day. Literally on uh, the dresser next to my bed, I have a, a little post-it note, well, it's actually a, an index card that tells you, or tells me exactly what my plans are for the next 12 months. It's just a few sentences on there in my bathroom mirror. I have a more extensive list that I, I look at that every single day when I wake up, as I'm brushing my teeth, as I go in there during the course of the day, uh, at night, a lot. I read this stuff all day long. I carry these cards with me uh, in, in books. I have them in the car. I have them in my wallet. And I try to visualize everything that I'm writing down because I feel strongly that it's the visualization that gets me excited. I got excited last January about this January, and I hit pretty much everything on all eight cylinders or 12 cylinders in the last 12 months. This year is going to be a mega year. I'm going to, I'm going to really look to push things uh, out further. I want to help as many people as I can. I want to expand my business. I want to make it to the point where I can almost self-sustain, where I have to bring on an assistant or two that can help run it. Uh, I, I think that's an important thing for me in terms of my goals. Hey, Chris, how you doing, brother? But if you don't set goals, if you don't plan your future, you're planning to fail. You just can't accomplish things. If you're just waking up saying, okay, another day, let me get through it. Let me go to work. Like tomorrow's Tuesday. How many of y'all are going to be going to work tomorrow? You know, a job somewhere. And that's okay. It's okay to have a job. I have a job. My job is me. It's my business. It's my business. So, but uh, if I don't put my effort in, I don't have a boss to tell me, go do something. I have to do it. Okay, I have to get out of bed. I have to wake up with in my mindset. This is going to be a powerful day and I got to hit the ground running. MJ will up and find me on my computer at eight o'clock in the morning already working. And I, I will I will push my envelope out till 12, one o'clock in the morning uh, that night. Uh, I take breaks during the day. Obviously, I do things, you know, other other things. I'm not working 80 hours a day, but I'm still putting the time in. And the reason I'm putting the time is because I'm excited about what I'm doing. I'm proud of what I'm doing. I'm looking forward to the future for my business, for the people that I'm helping, and for, for MJ and my kids. And, you know, there's so much coming at me every single day. I'm always putting out fires for people, um, helping people move forward on their goals. So you need to do this for yourself. You need to decide to set your own pace and get out there and hammer it. Because 2024 could be a, a breakthrough year for you. If 2023, if you did set goals and you missed the mark last year, which was like yesterday, uh, basically that's okay. 
I didn't hit every goal that I wanted to hit last year. There were some things that I just decided weren't worth my time. And I got rid of them. I canceled them. I, I shut them out. But then I added other things to the goal. And none of this stuff is physical. It's not financial. It's all, it's all up here. It's all thinking and mindset. That's where I find my goals are. That's where they materialize. I make a decision. I visualize it. I get excited about it. And then I go for it. If I'm not excited about it, I don't waste my time doing it. You know, getting gas in the car, it may be someone's daily goal. I'm not excited about it. I got to do it. I don't really care about it. Uh, it's just something that's a kind of a routine. You know, when you wake up, you don't think about your eyes opening, a tears in your eyes. So what are your eyeballs? You don't think about hearing. You don't, you don't have to, you know, make your heart beat. It automatically does that. You don't have to think about breathing. It automatically does that. So many things that we do in the course of our day in, in our, in our life are automated. So we don't have to worry about a lot. But unfortunately, it's the day-to-day -day things that we do in the course of building our business, working in our job, creating uh, wealth for ourselves, they are automated. And we just kind of get up and, you know, roll out of bed and jump in the car, go to work, you know, go through the motions, sit in a box all day long, eat from a box all day long, leave, uh, jump in another box, get home. Sometimes you, you, you walk into your box and you sit down and you watch a box for seven or eight or nine hours in the course of the day. Then you fall asleep in front of that box and you wake up the next day and just repeat. Rinse and repeat. That's not a way to live life. It's not a very productive way to live life, and you're not helping yourself or anyone else doing that. So rock and roll. Hey, Lord, how are you, sweetheart? That, this is your year. This is your year. No, no less than last year was your year. If you didn't hit, get out there and start doing something this year. So that's it for now. Chris, have a great night. Lord, I'll catch you guys tomorrow night, January 2nd already, and uh, let's get pumped. Let's hustle. Love you guys. Have a great night.